The Leggett Garg inequality, named for Anthony James Leggett and Anupam Garg, is a mathematical inequality fulfilled by all macrorealistic physical theories. Here, macrorealism macroscopic realism is a classical worldview defined by the conjunction of two postulates Macrorealism per se a macroscopic object, which has available to it two or more macroscopically distinct states, is at any given time in a definite one of those states. Non-invasive measurability, it is possible in principle to determine which of these states the system is in without any effect on the state itself, or on the subsequent system dynamics. In quantum mechanics In quantum mechanics, the leggett garg inequality is violated, meaning that the time evolution of a system cannot be understood classically. The situation is similar to the violation of Bell's inequalities in Bell test experiments which plays an important role in understanding the nature of the Einstein-Podolsky-Rosen paradox. Here quantum entanglement plays the central role. As well as Einstein's famous, God does not play dice. Objection to quantum mechanics, there was Einstein's still more fundamental objection that the moon is still there when nobody looks. If the violation of the leggett garg inequality can be demonstrated on the macroscopic scale, this would challenge even this notion of realism. Topic 2 State example The simplest form of the leggett garg inequality derives from examining a system that has only two possible states. These states have corresponding measurement values q equals plus or minus 1 display style q equals pm1. The key here is that we have measurements at two different times, and one or more times between the first and last measurement. The simplest example is where the system is measured at three successive times t1 t2 t3 display style t underscore 1. Now suppose, for instance, that there is a perfect correlation C13 of 1 between times T1 and T3 That is to say, that for n realizations of the experiment, the temporal correlation reads C13 equals 1 n r equals 1 n q r t 1 q r t 3 equals 1 Display style C underscore thirteen equals FRAC one N sum underscore R equals one carrot N Q underscore R T underscore one Q underscore R T underscore three equals one we look at this case in some detail. What can be said about what happens at time t two? Display style t underscore two. Well, it is possible that c twelve equals c twenty three equals one. Display style c underscore twelve equals c underscore twenty three equals one. So that if the value at t one equals plus or minus one, display style t underscore one equals pm one, then it is also plus or minus one, display style pm one for both times t two, display style t underscore two, and T three display style T underscore three. It is also quite possible that C twelve equals C twenty three equals minus one display style C underscore twelve equals C underscore twenty three equals minus one. So that the value at T one Display style t underscore one is flipped twice, and so has the same value at t three. Display style t underscore three as it did at t one. Display style t underscore one. So we can have both q t 
one display style q t underscore one and q t two display style q t underscore two anti-correlated as long as we have q t two display style q t underscore two and q t three display style q t underscore three anti-correlated yet another possibility is that there is no correlation between q t one display style q t underscore one and q t two display style q t underscore two that is we could have c twelve equals c twenty three equals zero display style c underscore twelve equals c underscore twenty three equals zero so, although it is known that if q equals plus or minus one, display style q equals pm one at t one, display style t underscore one, it must also be plus or minus one, display style pm one at t three. Display style t underscore three. The value at t two. Display style t underscore two may as well be determined by the toss of a coin. We define k display style k as k equals c twelve plus c. Twenty three minus C thirteen Display style K equals C underscore twelve plus C underscore twenty three C underscore thirteen. In these three cases, we have K equals one minus three Display style K equals one minus three and minus one Display style minus one, respectively. All that was for 100% correlation between times t one. Display style t underscore one and t three. Display style t underscore three. In fact, for any correlation between these times k equals c. 12 plus c 23 minus c 13 1 display style k equals c underscore 12 plus c underscore 23 c underscore 13 leq 1 to see this we note that k equals 1 n r equals 1 n q t 1 q t 2 plus q t 2 q t 3 minus q t 1 q t 3 R display style k equals frac 1 n sum underscore r equals 1 caret n left q t underscore 1 q t underscore 2 plus q t underscore 2 q t underscore 3 q t underscore 1 q t underscore 3 right underscore r. It is easily seen that for every realization r display style r, the term in the Parentheses must be less than or equal to unity, so that the result for the sum is also less than or equal to unity. If we have four distinct times rather than three, we have k equals c 
12 plus c 23 plus c 34 minus c 14 2 Display style k equals c underscore 12 plus c underscore 23 plus c underscore 34 c underscore 14 leq 2, and so on. These are the legate garg inequalities. They say something definite about the relation between the temporal correlations of q start q end. Display style wrangle q text start q text end wrangle and the correlations between successive times in going from the start to the end. In the derivations above, it has been assumed that the quantity q, representing the state of the system, always has a definite value macrorealism per se, and that its measurement at a certain time does not change this value nor its subsequent evolution non-invasive measurability. A violation of the legate garg inequality implies that at least one of these two assumptions fails. Topic. Experimental violations One of the first proposed experiments for demonstrating a violation of macroscopic realism employs superconducting quantum interference devices. There, using Josephson junctions, one should be able to prepare macroscopic superpositions of left and right rotating macroscopically large electronic currents in a superconducting ring. Under sufficient suppression of decoherence one should be able to demonstrate a violation of the legate garg inequality. However, some criticism has been raised concerning the nature of indistinguishable electrons in a Fermi C. A criticism of some other proposed experiments on the legate garg inequality is that they do not really show a violation of macrorealism because they are essentially about measuring spins of individual particles. In 2015 Robbins et al demonstrated an experimental violation of the legate garg inequality using superpositions of positions instead of spin with a massive particle. At that time, and so far up until today, the cesium atoms employed in their experiment represent the largest quantum objects which have been used to experimentally test the legate garg inequality, the experiments of Robbins et al as well as Ni et al., using ideal negative measurements, also avoid a second criticism referred to as clumsiness loophole that has been directed to previous experiments using measurement protocols that could be interpreted as invasive, thereby conflicting with postulate 2. Several other experimental violations have been reported, including in 2016 with neutrino particles using the MINOS dataset. Bruckner and Koffler have also demonstrated that quantum violations can be found for arbitrarily large macroscopic systems. As an alternative to quantum decoherence, Bruckner and Koffler are proposing a solution of the quantum to classical transition in terms of coarse-grained quantum measurements under which usually no violation of the legate garg inequality can be seen anymore. Experiments proposed by Merman and Bronstein and Mann would be better for testing macroscopic realism, but warns that the experiments may be complex enough to admit unforeseen loopholes in the analysis. A detailed discussion of the subject can be found in the review by Emery et al. Topic. Related inequalities The four-term legate garg inequality can be seen to be similar to the CHSH inequality. Moreover, equalities were proposed by Jaeger et al. Topic. See also Legate inequality